Uh, this is the origami door. Um, this is the model I made in Fusion 360. I made a bunch of pivot points so that it would move just like this model. And this is the list of materials and cost. And here is the Prusa slicer that I used to print the thing. And it says over here that it's around 60 cents. Uh, the project. The sketches and prints were made on Fusion 360, which is a uh, designing software. And they were laser cut and 3D printed after they were designed. And the hinges were connected by 3M screws. The door frame was laser cut and connected to the door. I chose this project because I actually found this like a year ago and I wanted to make a Lego version of it. But the Lego version I made of it was like only this big and it didn't work very well. So I made like a second one, which is the one you can see there. And it worked much better than that, but it was still very fragile because it wasn't built very well. So this is the last version I made. And the history of the origami door is that it was designed by an Australian artist named Clemens Trogler. And his prototype was called the evolution door. And he actually made two designs, which was this design and that design, which the door frames aren't completely lined up. I use algebra when calculating the dimensions. And I also learned that you can't have these door slates too short because then they would get stuck really easily. Uh, this door works because of its pivot points. It basically swings like a normal door, like this way, and it also draws a semicircle when turning. But it but it turns it wants to turn and fold itself to the fold itself ninety degrees, but if you do that, then there wouldn't be enough space. So it basically just moves outward and back in uh, like this. One of the challenges was designing the hinges because there wasn't there was like a lot of friction between the hinges and they didn't move very smoothly. So I had to sand them a lot of the time. And I had to make so that the edges wouldn't catch on each other because if this was inverted, it wouldn't be able to turn at all. And I had to redesign this last set of hinges so that they wouldn't catch on the edges. If I were to make this project again, I would use the second design, which was the second design made by the Australian artist, which the door frames aren't lined up. And I would use like different kinds of hinges, like the rubber hinge. Uh, this project uses these materials, a 3D printer for printing the hinges, sandpaper, a laser cutter, a screwdriver, and laptop or computer.